Racquetball is an easy to learn sport that can be played with a small amount of equipment and can serve as a great form of exercise. As one person put it, racquetball is like tennis, except the wall is the net. Two players take turns hitting a small rubber ball against the back wall of a racquetball court. The rally goes on until one player fails to properly return the ball. If the server wins the rally, they get a point. If the opposing player wins, they serve next. A standard racquetball match consists of a best of three series of games. The first two are won by the first player to reach 15 points. If necessary, a third game is played until a player reaches 11 points. In racquetball, all that is needed is a racquetball and one racket per player. Safety equipment such as goggles and knee pads are recommended but not required. A racquetball court, which can be found at many gyms, sports facilities, and YMCA's is also required to play the sport. A racquetball court consists of a front wall, a back wall, two side walls, a ceiling, and the floor. The court is 40 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 20 feet high. There are many lines in racquetball compared to other sports. First, there's a short line, which intersects the court halfway between the front and back wall. Five feet in front of it is the service line. The service zone is the area between the short line and service line where the server must serve from. Five feet behind the short line is the receiving line. Receiving players must stand behind this line while a server serves. Similar to tennis, a player must serve the ball so that it reaches past a certain point. In racquetball, the ball must hit the front wall and then make it past the short line before bouncing on the court. The correct form involves a drop-down stance and a flick of the wrist to send the ball swiftly on its way. A full swing is necessary to make the returning shot more difficult for your opponent. A fault is when the serving player serves improperly. When a fault is committed, the serving player gets a second attempt at that serve. If the second serve also results in a fault, the player forfeits the serve to the next player. The basic faults in racquetball include the short fault, the long fault, and the wall-to-wall -wall fault. A short fault occurs when the server is unable to get the ball past the short line when serving. A long fault happens when the player hits the ball so hard that it makes it all the way to the back wall without bouncing on the floor of the court. Finally, a wall-to-wall -wall fault occurs when the server hits the ball in such a way that it hits both side walls before bouncing on the court. Because racquetball is played in such a small court, players may get in each other's way. When this happens, the players restart that rally. This is referred to as a hinder. Strategy plays as large a part as agility in succeeding at racquetball. A player must use the walls to his or her advantage in order to prevent the opponent from returning the ball. Basic strategy includes keeping the ball low on the front wall, hitting the ball hard and fast to limit reaction times, and keeping the opponent away from the center of the court by the use of different shots. Racquetball is a relatively simple sport to learn and can be played with minimal equipment. The 40 by 20 foot room has a service box and receiving line, which players must respect during a serve, but there aren't any other restrictions once the serve has been made. Even though it is simple to learn, practicing the sport will inevitably make you a better player. By mastering the tactics and rules which were discussed in this video, you can be on your way to becoming a serious racquetball opponent.